guys, how you doing? Matt from Torque Speed Shop here. This week we're going to talk about paint. Uh, so many people stop by, have questions about paint, wondering what color to go with, you know, whether they want something flat, something gloss, um, you know, a bunch of graphics, some murals, uh, you know, stripes, etc. Um, you know, so we're here to help you guys out, maybe give some ideas, some things to think about, um, and just show the importance of a paint job on a motorcycle. So it's super important to pick an appropriate theme for your motorcycle. Um, and this is something where a lot of people, you know, fall short. You know, if you have a 1940s panhead, we're not going to paint it neon pink. It's just not going to go with the, the style and the type of motorcycle it is. Um, and it's so important, you know, paint is kind of the last thing you do when you're building a bike, but it's the first thing people see. Um, you know, you want to pick something that's timeless that you're going to like for a long time because paint is very expensive and we don't want to be doing this again in two years. So we know the theme is very important on a motorcycle, um, you know, as a car or anything else or a boat, you know, anything, any power sports, any motor vehicle. Um, if you're coming up with a nice color and design and something that you're going to appreciate for a period of time. However, function is equally important. You know, is this a bike that you're going to ride every day? You're going to put high miles on? Are you going to get a lot of paint chips in it? Well, if so, you might not want to go with the paint that's $1,500 a quart. Maybe take a color that's, you know, a little bit more serviceable, easier, and more affordable to touch up and repair down the road. If it's a daily rider, you know, something that you're going to see all the time, we don't want to pick something that's going to, you know, you're going to be tired of looking at. Uh, it's not a show queen that's tucked away for months on end and you see at the odd time and bam, you love it because it's so rare of a sight to you. Um, that's not going to be the case. So from an investment point of view, the functionality of a paint job is very important. Um, you know, especially when you're spending your hard earned money on something that you want to look nice and, and makes you happy. Um, attention is also very important. You know, we want to pick a color or we want the client to pick a color you know, that may not have been done and done and overdone. Maybe something that you haven't seen before. Um, you know, attention can also be a, a risky subject in the sense that who do you want the attention from? Do you want it from the general public who might like uh, chameleon paint jobs and lots of flames? Um, you know, or do you want the attention from, you know, an old school biker who, you know, may not appreciate that style as much? Uh, you know, we can all get attention. We can light your bike on fire. That'll draw attention real fast and real cheap. But we want a paint job that, you know, makes your parts and what other things you've done to the bike stand out. When it comes to the look and the color and design, we want the paint to look, or I would like to have my customers have paint that looks like, you know, a woman's makeup or a man's suit. We want it there, but not so it pops out. It just enhances the whole product. So, when we sit down with a client, we're ready to finalize a color and design idea. Um, there are some tips that I like to give them, you know, just to think about before we make an absolute final decision. Um, you know, as far as picking a color, it's nice to at least narrow down colors by their family. Maybe reds and oranges, you know, blues and greens, or light metallics and earth tones. Um, we also want to pick a color that they can live with for a long time. As mentioned before, we don't want to be doing this again in, in one or two years. You know, pick something that you truly like. We also don't like paint jobs or colors or designs that are very trendy. Um, I like timeless designs, timeless colors, because we want a timeless bike. I want a bike that, you know, in 30, 40 years from now, it still looks good. Opinions from family and friends are great, but we don't want too many opinions because too many opinions can lead to confusion. We also don't want opinions from your neighbor next door who wears plaid pants and white leather shoes because he has no style. Uh, you know, his advice probably isn't the best. Another important thing to consider is contrast. We want paint that contrasts with that fancy chrome that you spend thousands of dollars on. We want something that contrasts with that black powder coat you put on all your chrome parts to get rid of the chrome. We want it to contrast um, appropriately, let's say. And last thing I really like to, you know, hope people are on board with is that we don't want to get painted into a corner. And but what I mean is be open as the paint job progresses. We might change designs, we might change ideas as we go, which typically leads to a better result. So folks, I hope this advice helps you in planning your next project. 
If you have any questions or comments about this episode or have any ideas for future episodes, please send us an email. Uh, and thanks for watching. <laughs>